Merry almost Christmas. I think I only have one vlog in between this vlog and the Christmas vlog. It might be two, but it's December 17th. I was originally supposed to come home today before I moved my flight to the 14th. I'm so happy I'm not coming home today that I'm already back and settled in. Yesterday was such a fun day. I really didn't vlog, but I was not putting a lot of pressure on myself to vlog because I was just with my friends all day. I think I filmed one clip at Dick's Sporting Goods. We had Lauren's birthday party last night. It's just been so nice to be home, but it's Sunday. We're getting ready for church. Rini, come here. She's so happy everyone's home. I was gonna show Allie, but she's getting dressed. I'm thinking I'm just gonna wear this top. It's like a tank top button down situation. Grace actually got this from a thrift store and then gave it to me a while ago. And then I'm just gonna touch up my hair because I curled it last night, but it all fell out while I slept. Also, I had to show this to you guys because it's the cutest thing. My grandpa is an avid watcher of the news. Like every single day you go downstairs, he's watching sports or the news on the couch because he lives with us. And he watches this trivia segment on like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And he has a group chat with us, me and all my siblings, where he sends the trivia question and we have to send our answers and he tells us who's right. And it's like been made into this whole fun game. And he made these trivia certificates. I came in last place, but he gave Allie 20 bucks because she won my brother $15 or $10. And my mom helped him make the certificates. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. Okay. Here's the outfit. And I'm just gonna wear these earrings. Mac got me these for my birthday. Speaking of which, I need to show you guys my birthday haul in this video. He got me both these so I could wear them together. Oh no. I think I left my makeup back in the car. All I have is this. I'm just gonna use Allie's. I fixed my hair a little bit, just like the front pieces, but I didn't have time to do my makeup. Also, I found the bag. I got ready yesterday at Sarah and Chloe's house and I was panicking that I left my bag at their house because they're leaving for a trip to New York. And I was like, I won't see that bag for like a week if I left it, but it was in the car. I'm just gonna wear these. Come on, oh my gosh. Sorry. We made it. <laughs> and church started 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but I successfully did my makeup in the car. We went to lunch after church yesterday and I'm obviously back now. It's the next day, it's 2.10 already. The rest of yesterday was like a nice, chill, relaxing day, which was exactly what I needed. I worked for a while on getting my video up. I kind of got it up later in the day at the birthday vlog, but I went to Matt's house and we watched football and ate pizza and just did nothing for the rest of the night, which was so nice. It was exactly what I needed because I've been exhausted and I don't know why and I've just been in a bad mood. Sorry if this is TMI, but my PMS symptoms have been like, through the roof, I've been in such a bad mood, like so exhausted. And I know it's because I've been eating bad and I have stopped working out. I didn't do anything like really exercise wise last week because it was my birthday and then I had to pack to come home and then I came home. I'm sure that me being kind of off my rocker has escalated all that. And when I'm tired and moody, the last thing I wanna do is pick up a camera and talk about my day. All that to say, I'm way better today. I was babysitting for my neighbor all morning. She has two little girls and they're just, adorable and perfect and so cute and I haven't seen them in so long and me and Allie babysat for them like on and off basically all of high school so it was nice to be back and see them and see my neighbor and Allie is doing the second half of the day so I babysat for them the first half and Allie's taking the second half of the day and I was thinking about how I literally never see babies and little kids at college because I live on a street with so many babies and so many kids of all ages but I'm not put in any scenarios really where I see babies and little kids I'm mostly just seeing professors or people my same age in my everyday. Anyway, I came back and took a nap and I still haven't had lunch yet, so I'm gonna go make something, but I have kind of a busy-ish second half of the day. I just have random things to do. I got ready because I have to go take my passport photo because we're getting our passports renewed. I don't know if that's the right word. I also had to call and activate two credit cards and this activation of the credit cards has been on my to-do list for so long. Like these were here, these cards, when I came back for Thanksgiving break. So we had this whole thing with like fraud on my family's credit cards. It was kind of a disaster. Anyway, we had to get new credit cards and I had to get new business ones. And for weeks, I just haven't activated them and it's been on my to-do list. It literally took me two minutes. It was a two minute thing that I've avoided for like a month. It's kind of just an errands day. Me and Matt are gonna go Christmas shopping later for his family. I also need to wash my car because it's just gross. Like I never, I meant to wash it over Thanksgiving break and I didn't do that. It's still sandy and it really needs to be clean. So I'm gonna take it to the car wash, get the passport photo, Christmas shop, and then I'm in the home stretch of editing stuff for Vlogmas. So I'm gonna finish up a video to post tomorrow. My online class starts on Thursday, today's Monday. And I have some things I can do to get ahead. Like I want to start some of the reading that way the actual week of Christmas when my parents are off work and we're doing family things. I'm not like obsessing over my schoolwork. I don't think I will be. 
I just don't really know what to expect because I haven't heard great things about the workload with the online classes, but it's not a hard class and the professor seems really chill. In her emails, she seems nice. So my fingers are crossed. I need to wash my hair. I just put dry shampoo in it so I don't look bald in my passport photo because otherwise I would have just slicked it back. I'm just making something really simple for lunch. I'm going to make pasta and tomato sauce, chickpea pasta. I haven't cooked in so long. I mean, like I've made little breakfast things here and there. Being home. Oh, Papa's here. I vlog. But I miss cooking and I want to make something extravagant at some point over break. Gosh, you have got to be I just basically dumped this onto the floor I was gonna dump it in here and heat it up and it wasn't coming out. So I gave it a little shake and It all came out <laughs> All of it came out <laughs> I don't even know what to do with myself. This was so stupid. It's actually everywhere. It went like a mile each direction right here. I cleaned the sauce and the pasta's done. It took me like 15 minutes to clean it all up because it was underneath here in the crevices of the cabinets. It just actually splattered everywhere. I did the chickpea pasta with Parmesan cheese in the sauce and also cauliflower, cal cal <laughs> cauliflower and broccoli with garlic powder, lemon pepper, lemon pepper, garlic powder, and salt. I'm gonna eat this and keep watching my show. I finally started My Life with the Walter Boys on Netflix and I never watched The Summer I Turned Pretty. I have spice in my mouth. I never watched The Summer I Turned Pretty because so many people said it was so cheesy, but I wanted to start a new show. And one of my friends who I met through, like a mutual friend, through my friend Ryan told me to start watching it. And one of you recommended it when I asked what shows to watch a couple videos ago. Also the TV is so loud because my grandpa is a little bit hard of hearing. So he keeps it very loud, but he's watching the bowl game and I'm gonna watch this show, My Life with the Walter Boys. I'm back upstairs and me and my brother are about to go do the whole passport photo errands thing. But I promised in my last video that I would do a birthday haul on this one. So we'll do that really quick before we leave. First thing I kind of already talked about, Matt got me these earrings and he also got me this USC Abercrombie crew neck. Brother, my brother, my brother got me this speaker that was on my list. I don't own a speaker and I wanted a nice one because I usually just use my roommates. And I never really had a need for one because I would always just use my Alexa, but Alexa don't work in dorms because of some issue with the Wi-Fi. So now I have this one. Next up were gifts for my parents. The first thing they got me is this reading light. This was also on my list because I want to read at night in the dorm, but there's not really a light I can put on that's bright enough that won't also keep my roommates up. I was really trying to think of practical things this year and not things that I was just going to get rid of or that would be a waste. And I feel like I did a good job of that. Like those two things I will absolutely use. These I will also absolutely use. They're just these really thick ski socks. My mom said she did a bunch of research and these ones had really great reviews so she got me two pairs my mom also got me this book it's a faith-based book and she found it through somebody she was working at or working with i can't exactly remember it was something from her work and she thought it was a cool plan words because my job is an influencer and the book is called authentic influencer it's by jonathan murphy and it's about sharing your faith authentically and making disciples and how god can work through us in the lives of other people last thing was also for my parents but i'm going to take these back because they don't fit i can't wrap my mind around why they don't fit because i have the same size and the same style in another wash. I have these in blue, but these ones don't fit and they're kind of a different style. So I don't know if the ones I originally got weren't this style or what the deal is, but these are way too tight on me and they don't fit. I, maybe my other ones just stretched out, but they're black jeans from Abercrombie. I initially wanted white ones, but they were sold out everywhere. So black was kind of the next best option, but I'm gonna take these back and maybe find like a different kind of pants or just something that will fit better. Next thing's from Allie. She got me this gray bandit sweater that I asked for and I was not expecting this because I thought it was sold out everywhere and I loved the brown. Like I was initially drawn to this because I have this brown super puff and I was thinking of things I could wear under it and I thought this would be perfect and it's festive and super cozy but it was sold out so I was like oh that sucks maybe it'll get restocked I just put it on the list and she found it I got it in a size medium I thought it would be good for it to be a little bit oversized next one I'm so excited about this is from Grace she got me an Awala if you haven't seen these they're the coolest water bottles ever they have this lock it's also a handle and the lid has a spout so you can just drink out of it like this but you can also sip out of it like you're sipping on a straw and I thought this was so cool and I've just seen them everywhere and I feel like nothing motivates you more to stay hydrated than a new water bottle so thank you Grace for this she also got me earmuffs I wanted one of these bucket hats I was trying them on in urban a while ago and I facetimed Grace and she was like that's really cute but I like earmuffs better and I was like oh my gosh I love earmuffs I really want to get some so she got me these last thing is for my grandpa my mom helped him pick these out but he got us lululemon joggers but I know he watches all my videos so thank 
thank you, Papa, if you're watching this. I will try to leave links down below if you need like a last minute gift idea or something last minute to ask for. I feel like it's probably gonna be too soon by the time this video goes up. This video is going up on the 21st. So if you can find this stuff in stores, if you need a last minute idea, hopefully this was helpful. We're gonna go get our passport photos taken care of. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and leggings. Also, I have this box of stuff that I shipped from school home and I'm just gonna leave all this stuff here. There's some stuff I don't need. Stuff I'm selling on Poshmark, the banana suit I wore at Halloween. Just random stuff that I brought that I really didn't need up there anymore. Now I've made a mess. I'll clean this up when I get back. Here's our photos. I look so lifeless in mine. Cause you can't smile. Just like derpy. <laughs> and the passport lady was freaking out because she was like, I saw somebody earlier today who looked just like you. And I was like, it was oh, Allie. <laughs> it was probably my identical twin. She's like, I thought I was going insane. I didn't end up washing the car and we didn't go shopping, but we're gonna go tomorrow. We came to dinner instead at Urban Plates. Thank you. <laughs> Why did you do it like that? I don't know. As usual, I got chicken and Matt got steak. This is more mashed potatoes than I got at the Michelin Star restaurant. <laughs> and it's 6 15 p.m and the day has like basically come and gone and i haven't vlogged for a single moment i get into this toxic cycle when i was in high school this would happen like every weekend i would pick a day like usually a sunday to post a video and i get up get myself a certain amount of time to finish the video in the morning and just be cutting it so close to church or wherever i was going that my morning was so crammed and that's what happened to me today i had a dentist appointment at 10 30 so i got up at like 7 finished the video barely in time and then i went to the dentist quick pause in my story time because i want to show you what mk got me for my birthday after my dentist appointment we kind of had ourselves a day this is the perfect gift if you need a last minute christmas idea the way leave-in conditioner this body scrub and the lineage lip balm like who wouldn't love all of this stuff and i just used this in the shower smells so good so i had my dentist appointment i had to get two fillings and i went to a real dentist real adult dentist for the first time i've always gone to a pediatric dentistry and i went to a pediatric dentistry my whole life until i until now until i was 19 and the lady asked me like oh when was the last time you had your teeth cleaned and i was like oh i think it was about eight months ago i'm like out of state for college and i just switched over from a pediatric dentistry thinking it was normal like when you turn 18 you switch over and she was like really you just switched now and i was like yep just this is my first time and she said usually patients switch over when they're like seven or eight years old so that was kind of embarrassing but i had my first real dentist appointment got two fillings and my bottom retainer forever ago if anyone cares just ranting about my day my bottom retainer broke weeks ago so i wasn't really wearing it in the top one like they're just four or five years old so i got the molds for new ones if you've ever had a retainer mold done or you know what it feels like it's the most disgusting taste and they're just like pressing it so hard into your mouth so i was glad to get that over with won't see the dentist for another six months after my like two hour dental experience i went to the mall with mk and we got lunch and we we're just walking around for a while we got sweet green and it was so good she's never had sweet green before the first time i went was in boulder and then they opened up two where i live i'm a big fan anyway i'm gonna put leggings on but i'm wearing pajama shorts right now because i shave my legs and everything in the shower i'm like going in a million directions went to the dentist went to the mall walked around a little bit we ran into like five people we know and then we went to a core power class and it was so difficult i feel like i'm still recovering and i was just sweating so much it was gross if you've never heard of core power it's kind of like hot yoga it basically is hot yoga with weights i was just tired and i think we did it at 3 30 which is like the slump of the day and i think it was just a bad time to do it because i had been up since seven anyway my hair looks wild so i'm just gonna slick it back but i'm gonna go over to matt's house for dinner he's a very last minute shopper i feel like there's two kinds of people the people that are like very on it with their shopping throughout the year that's my mom she had all of her gifts bought by like the first week of december and then there's people like my dad and matt who wait till the very last minute to buy gifts so let me know in the comments which one you are. Sometimes I feel like it's fun to go last minute Christmas shopping because you're just like with the crowds. I mean, it gets annoying after a while, but at first you're like with the crowds, at the mall, everybody's scrambling for gifts and it's just like the epitome of the holidays, like so busy, but also so much holiday cheer. Anyway, I think it's gonna be a fun night. I'm looking at all this stuff I forgot to do. Still haven't washed my car. I just feel so bad that I have sucked in this vlog, honestly. I honestly 
I don't think I can go one video without spilling something or dropping something. I always want my next videos to be better than the last ones. So thank you for being with me. What? Your own just came in. Wait, oh, this bun. Cool things in it for Christmas, like since you're doing vlogmas. Uh huh. Also, these leggings. I need to take them back to Lou Eleven because the seam has come completely undone. Do you see that? I don't know how it happened. We're gonna Christmas and birthday shop and eat dinner and then probably have a little movie night. And I want to bake something Christmassy or just like do something festive, even if it's just that the movie we watch is Christmassy. It doesn't feel like Christmas and there's only six days till Christmas because I'm filming this on the 19th. So I want to do more to get in the holiday spirit. Look who came in. Mom, look. She doesn't like to be picked up by me. So I don't know, in the end of this, he talks about the different light, the light of grace. We should get a drop count for me because anyway, I'm nonstop. Jesus is the divine light of the world because he brings a new life to replace our spiritual deadness because he shows us the truth that heals our spiritual blindness and because he is the beauty that breaks our addictions to money, sex, and power. As wonderful counselor, he walks with us even in deep and through the shadow of death where no other companion can go. He is the light for us when all other lights go out. That's really good. That's what I like. So that's, I mean, obviously we've commercialized it, but that's the, the reason why people put lights up. And I thought if we go see the lights and drive around, this is something you could say, that he is the light for us when all the lights go out. And that's really what the meaning of all these lights are for Christmas. Lovely Christmas message for mom. What's that book, mom? Timothy Keller, Hidden Christmas. You can even wear these leggings and go like a monochromatic moment. I bought this button up cardigan thing from Aerie and I almost returned it. And I'm really glad I didn't because it's super cozy. And I feel like it's a good color for the season. <laughs> Don't you? Come here. Yes. Okay, note that I am not the camera girl. That's okay. And my... Mom, we're gonna wanna look back on this one day. I looked like crap. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> what do you want me to say instead? I looked like a mess. Everybody tell her how beautiful she looks. I have my Rudolph shirt on. At least I'm spirited for Christmas. Mwah. Mwah. You are. Mwah. I'm so glad she's here and home. I'm so glad if, to be here for too. a little bit. Mom's the best. Matt's mom makes a really yummy guac. It's like kind of limey. It's the best guac I've ever had, and she's making it tonight. And I'm so pumped. I'm gonna put this on. Grace always convinces me to buy things. Like Grace is my personal influencer because anything she uses, I will buy, or anything she recommends, I will buy. She said this stuff was good, and it was a dupe for the Dior. <sighs> Come on, the Dior lip oil. It's pretty good. I just feel like the Dior lasts a little bit longer because I've used Allies before, but they have a ton of colors. It was really cheap, so I'll link it down below. All done. I need to figure out my hair situation. This is like bird nest. I was saying this earlier before I backtracked all the way to the beginning of my day. Allie is taking me to a cycling so <laughs> I'm tired. Allie is taking me to a cycling class tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I've never been to a cycling class so I'm very excited. Also just oh I got all on my forehead. Also kind of nervous. We're going to cycle bar. I don't know if that's a nationwide thing. Hair is done. I have my little camera so I can vlog in the stores because I need to do a better job in this vlog. And I'm wearing my Uggs. Mm -hmm. I'm at a red light, but I got in my car and saw these, and I was like, I have to show them. Me and MK got these when we were shopping earlier. The brand is Drizzlicious. Hold on. Here they are. They're these rice cake snacks. I have the birthday cake flavor, but they're so good. There are mini rice cakes drizzled in different flavors. I don't think they're sold at regular grocery stores, but I know they're at, like, health food stores and Whole Foods. And I'm sure they're online, so I'll try to find a link. I'm back. We got, like, two things, and that was pretty much it. I have all my shopping done. I just... Need to get little things like maybe stocking stuffers and extra things here and there. I'm whispering because it's 1220. I was listening to this in the car. I'm feeling so pale. I'm also so tired. I fell asleep on Matt's couch for like two hours while he was watching Hard Docs, the NFL show, and I have to go to bed because I have to get up for that cycle class tomorrow, but I'm going to make tea and then go do my skincare nighttime routine. Also, while I'm at it with showing everything on my phone, I'm going to drink my tea and start this devotional. It's a five-day Advent devotional. It's on the Bible app. It's called The God Who Is With Us. This video is going up tomorrow, so if you want to start this with me, and just do the last day on Christmas Day instead of Christmas Eve, we can do it together. I really want to be better about these devotionals because I feel like I'm so inconsistent with them and just like, it's very sporadic when I do this. So I want to get in a better habit of looking at my Bible physically, but also if it's on my phone in the form of a devotional, whatever it is, just getting in the word, especially during this time of year. I had chocolate on my face for that whole clip. And I feel way better about still being up because look who else is awake. I need to get to bed immediately. <laughs> what are you doing? Watching TikTok. Thing. Katie and I are indeed going to. I don't want to go. I think we should cancel. No, Katie. What if we just sleep in, Allie? It'd be so nice. We can sleep in on Saturday. What? My bun is back. I finally perfected the art. 
Oops. The trick is to try to leave the middle part because if you just like fully go up like this and do it, it's kind of hard to not look bald. So you pull it up, find your part. This way you can pull out pieces easier and it frames your face a little bit better. Also this shirt my friend Chloe got me like three years ago for my birthday. So pull it up, find the part, and then just do one loop around and then twist the ponytail. And then you can pull it apart and wrap the tail around, tuck it in. Pull out these pieces and it's an easy messy bun.